don't have to look at Lucas again looking at but um, yes, mate. a close session there today. Um, what are you keeping out of Rabs? Yeah, again, I think most uh, captain's runs are closed sessions, so um, no, we're keeping nothing under wraps. You'll see it all tomorrow night. King Any surprises up up your sleeve? Any surprises? Sleeve? Um, there's about five of them playing tomorrow night. Yeah, so um, no, there's, there'll be no surprises. Kangaroos have opened up their session. Sorry? The kangaroos are opening up their session for have a they? watch. A bit of negativity around the team, Steve, and this test match. How have you sort of viewed that? Yeah, again, we haven't, outside of, um, we understand outside of the, I guess, the group, you know, we've, uh, there has been a bit of, you know, negativity and what have you, but again, you know, our focus is, you know, we get an opportunity tomorrow night to play for our country, and I know the 17 guys that run out uh, for us um, are going to do a wonderful job. Uh, and doing that, playing with a great deal of spirit and a great deal of energy, so um, um, that's all we're focused on. How do you react to people saying this team's got no chance? Again, you know, we don't react to it. You know, we, we, you know, we go out there and do what we think um, um, uh, we have a high expect expectation of ourselves and, you know, that's how we're going to go out there and uh, play tomorrow night. How do you react to Jared's talk this morning in the papers that he uh, hasn't got a phone call from? I haven't seen Jared's uh, talk in the newspapers, but you know I endeavour to talk to Jared once uh, this week's over, um, as I will um, a number of other players who haven't been selected in the Kiwi team. Um, if I rang every player who was uh, who missed out on the Kiwi jumper, um, my phone bill would be very very high. Jared, some people think he deserves a phone call. He's been there a while. He's probably one of the best props in the NRL. Yeah, again, of. You know, I've been over this for the last four days. Um, you know, we'll deal. I'll deal with Jared. I'll talk with Jared. You know, after this week's over, and um, you know, I'll give him give him the explanation um, why. As I said right at the start of the week, you know, we picked the side uh, on form. We picked the side on um, you know with you know with the future in mind. Uh, talking about you know 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. Steve, uh, no disrespect, but Sean Kenny Dow has probably been in the best form of his career. Why didn't you pick him? Again, I, I'm, you know, today I think you know it should be about you know the players that I have picked. You know, I, uh, Dean Fudder and Roger, two of us, are shit. Uh, when you talk about form, um, I thought they were probably um, the form, you know, right edge combination of the tournament. I thought uh, Jason Nightingale's form this year has been outstanding. And uh, also, so is Jerry Bill. So again, I can't, I can't fit everyone into the squad. And um, you know, I've got no doubt. You know, Sean keeps playing the way he, he's playing, um, and I'm no, I've got no doubt he'll put himself in the frame for a uh, for a test jumper at the end of the year. The players you didn't pick are their cards marked forever. What, why would they? Not, why would they be? I don't know. I'm just trying to understand why. No, you didn't no, be. no one's cards marked forever. You know, we've, uh, as I've said. Um, if the guys are playing good footy at the back end of the year uh, in preparation for the Four Nations tournament, I've got no doubt they'll, they'll get selected. Are you guys in any way disrespecting this test match by picking for the future? How, how would we be disrespecting the... Oh, you know, we've just been through the uh, selection process. Um, you, you have to wait tomorrow and you know, see the performance from the lads tomorrow. There's, there'll be no... You know, we don't disrespect our jumper. Steve, can we expect to see Torby Harris float in at six at some stage? Right um, there's a chance that you could, yeah. yeah. What, why? What can you offer in that position? <laughs> um, I mean, you know, Tohu's probably, um, you know, he's got size in that position. Uh, he's got a, a, a good passing game. Um, you know, Kevin Proctor, who who play, who will be playing on that side of the field, um, you know, they play at club level together, so, you know, that's a... Uh, um, I guess a, a positive, you know, aspect you know, to him potentially being there. So uh, again, there's a lot of positives. Steve, the number six, uh, you named Isaac John there. I think um, he's been playing a bit of reserve grade. Is that a troublesome spot for you? Is there a surprise there? Is there someone we haven't thought about you might put there? Um, I thought I'd, I thought I'd just sort of half answered that question. Right, yeah, you're right. Simon, Steve, what about you? What's your Sean reaction Johnson. to the sort of comments this week about the Kiwi side and um, the quality of it? I guess over the years we've always probably had that underdog tag, um, and probably rightfully so. Um, yeah, we have been fairly inconsistent over the years, uh, especially this week. But for us, our expectations on each other are a lot higher. Um, 
I think that's the main thing that counts for us is we live up to those for each other on the field and you know everyone's entitled to their opinion and for us we don't really buy into it too much. Steve, Sean Johnson, how important is it for him to have a, a big game tomorrow? That was for you, Steve. For me, yep. yeah. Sean Johnson. Yeah, again, I, I think, um, um, you know, for Sean, we, you know, we want Sean playing well every time he plays in the Kiwi Jumper and, you know, tomorrow night's no different. Um, I think, um, you know, with Simon and, you know, Adam Blair, as I've mentioned, Jesse Bromwich, you know, experienced guys around him um, like that, I'm sure they'll be of uh, great assistance to him. And I, I thought um, the way that Sean has prepared this week um, in terms of the training and his uh, talk around the group has, has, been, uh, has been really good. So, yeah, like Simon said, you know, we have high expectations of ourselves and um, I'm sure Sean you know, expects himself to, you know, have a, have, a, have a good game and good performance and, you know, so do we. With no Kieran and no Isaac on the side, I mean, is there more pressure on him to... Oh, no, like more so than, you know, uh, any other time, you know, Sean takes the field. But um, again, you know, we've, you know, we know the names I've just mentioned, you know, between them, they'll, you know, take a bit of the, you know, a bit of the uh, heat off him. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm confident that he'll put in a great performance tomorrow night. So, so I mean, we're standing here bagging your teammates in a large way, does that make you angry? I guess um, there's always going to be something to complain about from certain people. Um, <laughs> but you know, for us, you know, I guess you can use it as, as motivation if you want. But like I said, the expectation from each other is a lot higher and we're just going to make sure we live up to that out in the field. Were you surprised to see the team? Were you surprised with the changes? Oh, I, I guess as a player, I never question um, you know, Stephen's choices on the, of the team and I guess you talk of um, the guys missing out being disappointed I think that's a good thing um, if they weren't disappointed then obviously uh, it didn't hurt them that they weren't on the side and um, I think it's a positive um, for the Kiwis that we've got the depth that players that you've named are missing out on the team and we've got you know five maybe six new guys um, joining that depth so I think it's positive things for the Kiwis. Steve, the Kiwis record in this test has been great over the years. I mean, is it still a worthwhile exercise, do you think, from your perspective? Oh, I think it's, you know, it's super important for us. You know, one, for, for international footy. I think, um, um, you know, the fact that, you know, both Australia and New Zealand, you know, commemorating, you know, it's, you know, it's 100 years next year that, you know, we... Um, uh, a significant, you know, event in our history. So, and, and I think, you know, regardless... Um, I, th I think that should be celebrated and, you know, I think, um, um, so from that point of view, I think it, you know, needs to stay. Steve, so you're building for the future, we assume. Is it a case of a step back for two forwards or do you expect to win this game tomorrow night? That's our expectation, you know. Um, you know, from our point of view, um, you know, we know what we're up against and, you know, we'll be... Um, but, you know, that's... You know, we're not going out there to lose. We haven't prepared all week to... Uh, um, you know, to, to lose. So, uh, you know, our, our expectation is to get our performance right. Um, and I'm sure if we do that, um, we'll, we'll surprise a few.